Hey guys, it's Clara. Welcome back to my channel. This video is a Dollar Tree haul. I know, it has been forever. Stay tuned. If you are new to my channel, I love shopping at the Dollar Tree and showing what kinds of deals I find. Some things I buy at the Dollar Tree are seasonal, meaning that they come and go or maybe you never see them again. Other things are regular buys that I just love. The first thing I bought, which I have tried before, are these 4C breadcrumbs, the Japanese style panko plain. I usually season these with some garlic powder, salt, pepper, a little bit of crushed red pepper and uh, it does taste really good. I decided to try this other uh, brand. It is the Kikoman Panko breadcrumbs. Uh, they're in a resealable bag, which I like. Continuing on with the food is the onion soup and dip mix. I also have been loving beets lately, so I bought a few cans of the Libby's sliced beets. Sometimes I'll just eat these plain as is, or I'll put these on top of salads so delicious. The Goya Cubitos and Polvo. These are packets of a chicken flavored seasoning mix. More of the Gerber Puffs for my nephew and my daughter in the strawberry apple, sweet potato, and banana. One of my favorite items for the Dollar Tree is the Good Health Veggie Chips in the Sea Salt. Love, love those. And <laughs> kind of shoved in the back there is some uh, truck racing themed wrapping paper for my godson. His birthday is coming up. Also for my godson will be these Pop Secret Kids Kettle Corn Popcorn. And I know a lot of you have been hauling the Annie's Soup. I have not tried these yet. These are the creamy tomato and bunny pasta soup, the tomato soup, and the vegetable soup. When I eat these kinds of pre-made soups, I usually add stuff in. So whether it be some shredded chicken or some chopped up veggies. But if these end up too salty, I might end up adding some chicken broth to dilute it and uh, some tomato paste so it's not too watery because these are tomato-based soups. Decided to try the Alkaline Water and Electrolytes Alka 65. And for some of the parties and the people we're having over this summer, we have the Duncan Hines Chewy Fudge Brownies and the Krusty As Buttermilk Pancakes, yum. This item I thought I would try to use on some of the patio items that are kind of getting worn with the rain and the storms and um, I'm a bit worried that they're starting to rust. So this is the Rust-Oleum Never Wet Multi-Surface Liquid Repelling Treatment in the Frosted Clear color or lack of color. Some light green hydrangeas. And we are taking a trip very soon. I thought I would take these along with packing our toiletries and stuff. These are water resistant travel envelopes in three different sizes. These two come together for a dollar and then this big pouch is a dollar just by itself. This item I probably will end up returning although I do think they're really cute. This is the 10 pack of paper tags for um, like baby shower favors. I ended up just making our own, printing our own because I needed um, a bigger tag. These are the Crayola washable sidewalk chalk and these have two colors on them. I saw different varieties of these and um, this one is really nice too. So sometimes they repeat the color green. I saw some that did not have yellow. I mean it, they're kind of all mismatched and stuff so maybe that's why they're at the Dollar Tree. I don't know but sometimes the colors don't seem to be evenly spread out between the packages. For some learning games that we're playing um, as far as addition and subtraction, I bought this foam dry erase block. Also during our road trip, some Slim Jims. This is a four pack. Some dish cloths as well. This is a two pack. Sometimes they have bonus packs of three. And I love, love that these are at the Dollar Tree. I've been hoping that they would do this. I like to use containers like this for stuff like 
Um, if you're making a barbecue chicken pizza and you kind of want to just drizzle the sauce versus it coming out in clumps from the bottle, or if you're making like a peppermint bark and you want to drizzle some chocolate on the top, I've done the trick where you can put the sauce in a plastic bag and kind of cut the tip and do it that way. Um, but I think this will work much better. These are in the kitchen section, obviously. It's the condiment bottles, and you could put whatever you want in them, really. One of my favorite items from the Dollar Tree is this LA Colors lip color. To be honest with you, this is the only color and the only lipstick of LA Colors that I like and that I regularly use. I probably bought maybe, gosh, maybe eight of these or ten of these by now over the years. This one is in the mauve glaze. So I know this looks pretty dark, but it comes off as like a medium to light pink mauve. The only thing I don't like about this item is that the containers are a little on the cheap side, but still for a dollar, I'm okay with it. My favorite mints are the Certs or the Lifesavers Wintergreen Mints. For vacation, we'll be taking along this Banana Boat Sport uh, sunscreen in the 30 SPF. We'll be taking along a bigger bottle for sure, but this is nice to have in my purse on the go, so if we need to do a little bit of touch-ups if we're walking around the town. My daughter really likes these snack bags. I've been waiting for these to come back to my Dollar Tree. For some reason, they had tons of the character sandwich size, but not the snack size. So the Minnie Mouse, the princess ones, and then the Paw Patrol ones. We had a really nice mom's group meeting where we had some moms of an older generation come and it was amazing. These women are absolutely incredible. So these are thank you cards for them. Some iron-on patches. There were some different varieties of these. I plan on putting this on backpacks. We decided to try their foot powder as well. This was kind of cute. They had several different varieties of these kinds of decoration things. I haven't been buying as much decor from the Dollar Tree just because I have so much of those now. Figured this would be nice to have at the bathtub actually and I could turn on the light and light some candles. I'd create a really nice ambiance. However, I can't keep it at, at the bathtub necessarily uh, just because it's not waterproof on the bottom and I don't want it to get wet. I love these baby wipes cases that they have. I use them to organize craft supplies, um, envelopes, bills. I thought I would give this a try when giving my daughter a bath, the bath gloves. Probably could wash these in the clothes washer, but maybe I'll just put it on delicate and then let it air dry. Bought a couple of these. These are the Stroop wa Waffles, waffles in the caramel, and I've tried one. They're not all that great, I must admit, because I thought the waffle part would be more crispy, but it's kind of soft. Color paper clips and this sequiny pouch. I will probably keep this in my purse and use it to store toys and crayon. Decided to try the Body Fantasy Spray in vanilla scent. I do mostly like the Dollar Tree socks. I've had pretty good success with them. The last pair I bought were uh, longer than these. Slightly large on me. I'm a size seven. Whenever we go to the Dollar Tree, Aria is allowed to pick out one or two items. And these are the items she chose. Unicorn charm. There's all sorts of colors of those. And then the purple boa. All right. So that is it for this Dollar Tree haul. I have a couple other hauls actually to film. I usually try to combine hauls all in one um, big enormous haul. But seriously, guys, it has been a month or two uh, worth of items. Life has been crazy, crazy here. I know it has been a long time and I just wanna thank everybody for the messages and the emails. Um, we are doing okay. We did end up having a long hospitalization again, but Aria is doing great and she's jumping around and uh, being a little stinker sometimes and I love it. So usually when I'm away from YouTube for a while, it's usually because of family stuff. And I really appreciate that you've stuck around with me to still watch my videos. So yeah, that's it. So let me know guys, new stuff at the Dollar Tree. What have I missed? I had a period of time where I wasn't shopping at the Dollar Tree like a good three weeks. I'm sure there's stuff that I've missed. Thank you so much for watching guys. Take care. <laughs>